all like to do every single day, which is snacking. Um, and you know, there's a lot of different options for snacking out there. You can go to the store and you can buy things in bags, which are all pretty much either deep fried or covered in so much salt and, and junk that, you know, in the long run, they're really not that great for you. Or you can try the brand new Chiptastic. Now, this is the Chiptastic microwave chip maker. It comes with the slicer and it comes with the seasonings. And literally, all you do is you slice them up, you season them up, and you pop them in your microwave. There's no oil. You don't have to worry about splattering messes all over the place. You don't have to worry about the guilt that we associate with rolling down 10 bags of, of potato chips that you bought in the store. You do it yourself. Forbes Riley, come on out here. She's here with us today. And boy, you know when Forbes is here, we know we're going to have fun. Today, we're going to have fun with food. And well, you know, and I'll tell you what, everyone said, well, wait, well, Forbes, why are you doing in the kitchen? Here's the amazing thing. You've seen me do fitness for most of my life, but you know what? Your body is not made in the gym. Your body's made in the kitchen. So I'm committed to healthy, delicious food food and here's a little insider tip I don't cook I married a guy who's a chef so he could cook but I love to eat and what's great about Ronco and my association with them is I now make the most amazing food in the kitchen and it's easy And I'll tell you what I look really good and you will too so let's get started this is one of the coolest products you know what you carry bags of chips everywhere mm -hmm. everybody loves chips especially at a party but let me tell you something how about homemade potato chips in a microwave now if you're like me you're like wait microwave makes things soggy Check this out. Yeah. Put this in your mouth, baby. Go. Mm. Do, you, wait, do you hear that chip, that, that awesome. crunch? Okay, we made this with mm. just a potato and a microwave. We mm -hmm. all have a microwave. In fact, yep. I've got some in here. Check this out. We just made these. And the craziest thing is, this is the most fun with the kids. You're going to spend this holiday going, wait, what do I do with my children? Let's make homemade snack food. Take, literally, they come out and they are crunchy and these. delicious. And it's not just potatoes. That's crazy so good. It is crazy mm. good, isn't it? So potatoes are a great way to start. But what about sweet potatoes? Mm. My bodybuilder friends, you got to eat sweet potatoes, right? What well, gets a little boring. By the way, you see he keeps snacking here? Mm. How amazing is... Those are delicious. Thank you. That's and you know why? Good. Because they're fresh. Because they're not full of preservatives. Mm -hmm. They're not dipped in oil. And do me a favor. Go to the store and look at the ingredients. When you see a bag of chips, you're going to be amazed at the hydrogenated this and the monosodamated that. There's nothing but a potato. Yeah. All right, so now... And you can control the amount of salt that you want to put on it. Well, how about... But it, how but about, it really tastes like a potato. See, we're so conditioned to eating things out of bags, and what you're really tasting is oil. Yes. Which your body, you know, because of the way it feels, your mind is telling you this is good, this is good. But it's actually, you're not, you're not catching the flavor of the food. That tastes like a baked potato. Okay, so flavor-wise, yeah. taste a sweet potato chip. Now, the only way I've ever made these is in the oven, and it doesn't taste. Can mm. you yeah, lean your microphone? Hear yeah, that crunch? You can hear me crunching. See, that's delicious. And just add a little bit of sweetness in there. Well, here's not covered with a bunch of oil. Well, mm. because we're also going to include with this, we're going to include our fa our flavor packets. You're going to get a sample of your spicy barbecue, your salt and vinegar, mm -hmm. and your sour cream and dill. This way, you get to make this. There is nothing that says, I love you, like fresh, nutritious food. And I'll tell you what, families are coming over. You're going to have to serve them something. You have the choice. You either rip open a bag of stuff you don't know, or you start with the freshest ingredients. So now you've just seen here, we've got a potato. You're also going to get, with your Chiptastic, you're going to get the mandolin. Okay. Because all you do to make a Chiptastic is you simply slice your fresh potato right here. Yeah, and this is the most right fun. Up. You slice your potato, you take your potato, mm -hmm. and you literally, you dip it and you stick it into here. I've actually got, not potatoes are okay, but I'm digging the apples. Check this out. Taste my little apple yeah, chip. little apples. Mm, those, it, are, okay. those, are, no, those are killer. They are killer. So mm. here's what we're going to do at parties this mm. year, and you're going to do this in your home. We dip these <clears throat> in a little bit of lime juice, mm. and all you do is you take your, check this out. This is how simple it is, guys. One, two, three. Fold you it. You take it, and you put your little finger in here. You do one. Mm -hmm. We're going to take this guy. These are nice. These are actually been sitting here for a while. And I've got this. We're going to take it and we're going to dip it in here. And you put your finger in there. And even if it goes through, it doesn't much matter. It still tastes as mm -hmm. good. You're going to do that and you're going to load it in there. You're going to take this, load it in here. Guy, it doesn't get easier. And if you've got kids or grandchildren, this is better than arts and crafts because you can eat what you make. It's fun. How long do you have to pop them in for about? Three minutes. That's it? Really? How? Three minutes. That's okay. crazy. I'm looking at a hamburger and chips. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's not store-bought chips. If you love your family, this is the begin. This is a gift. Yeah, and look at what we've look done here. Beautiful. You can do. I mean, you can set up a whole dip tray. We did sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. You know, it's nice too. Is now you can add your dips and not feel so guilty about that whole big combination because these uh, have not been soaked in oil. These are not full of all the extra stuff that you don't right. need. And boy, you know, I would imagine at, at the end of a year, yeah. if you did this yes. instead of buying by the bags. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you look better? I mean, I, not but but feel better too because you know a lot of times it's like you just feel like you're weighed down and you got all this you know you're eating all this and i'll tell you what we junk. need we need to snack hey, by the way this is what? 20 bucks right. 20 dollars <laughs> how many how many dollars a month do you pay on bags of stuff that you let somebody else make for you why would you you know and I'm, I'm you know me I, I do love to cook i cook all the time so i i appreciate i've got the dehydrators i've got all kinds of stuff because right. i love all different fi uh, types of food all different forms of food but i'll tell you right off the bat you, you can't continue to constantly put fried things into your body it's just it's just not the, r the right way to go and if you want to uh, get uh, the real health and nutrition out of your food do it the right way. You don't need to cover it with a bunch of stuff. Just throw it in the microwave. Well, here's the crazy thing. You also no need to heat up. Chips. You don't need to heat up chips. your entire house. It's your microwave, which, by the way, isn't doing a whole lot of good. It makes most things saggy, crazy. soggy. This is crazy. Mm. So all I'm going to do is I'm simply going to load my tray like you're seeing. You, it's so cute. It's so much fun. You load your entire tray, and literally in three minutes, you're going to see me. I'm going to set this. I'm going to go back. This one is three minutes and 30 seconds for what I've loaded here because you are going to look at how much, you know, what the, what the microwave speed is and your intensity. This is your little cookbook. You get this, too. Superfood. So, thank you, Superfood. Super food. Well, wait, okay, let's talk. Sweet potatoes, greatest thing on the planet. I love sweet potatoes more than anything. Do you anything. eat them a lot? Oh, all the time. Love and if you don't. Them. But never, I've never had them like that before. Well, but here's the thing. You're going to go to some party, and you're going to get a sweet potato pie, and it's going to be loaded with marshmallows and fat and gluten mm. and all the stuff that you don't need. When it tastes as good, do you see the guys doing this? Yeah. This is what's going to happen in your house this, this Christmas season. Have you're going to be snacking. Okay, Matt, I waited to save the best for last. Mango. Taste this. Mango, Michael, mango. Uh, mango chip. You got oh, that? Yeah. Okay, wow. but. My all-time favorite. Oh, now, I, That's so sweet. Isn't that sweet? I gotta go in again. Naturally sweet. Can mm. you imagine your husband, your family, your friends snacking mm. like this, saying, "Wait, you made this in the microwave? So now you got something fun to talk about. All your guests can do this." But my, I save my best for last. Have you ever had a kale chip? Mm -mm. Okay, so we make kale chips in the oven. It takes 15 minutes. Here, I got a kale chip for you. Taste this. This, you guys, you're going to be so surprised if you've got little ones. I have two 10-year-olds. Mm. This is the food of choice. Yeah, I do kale. I juice kale. Mm. All the time. I do, too. That's but it's really not good. this crispy. Mm. How yummy is that? It's so good. You know, and if you look at mm. everything that we've got here, mm. all you need to do, and you can use your own knife if you'd like, but we're giving you the little mandolin mm -hmm. slicer to be able to do the little wafer-thin things of potatoes and all that stuff. And awesome. all you do is you just soak it a little bit. Okay, we'll take now, we season it before it goes in. By the way, Ooh. Jared, what do I got, about 400 left of these? We got 400 left, so if you want it, now's the time to get it. Um, a little bit of seasoning, and you could be creative with your seasoning. You know, we, we asked uh, at HSN today, uh, as our question on Twitter, what people like to season their food well, with. And, and I am, without a doubt, I think one of the greatest things, obviously, you can season your food with is anything like an onion or a garlic powder. That's, that's simple. But salt and pepper, we're going to actually send you some spices to go along with your food today. You get sample packs of these three different things, and they're also available online, because when you fall in love with them, you're going to want to buy full bottles. Well, because so. I'm insanely committed to what you put in your body is how your body looks and how you feel. Mm -hmm. You like, I love spicy barbecue chips. I've been doing that since I was a kid, but I can't stand when I read the ingredients. And I got my little kids reading the ingredients. They're like, Mommy, what is monosodium, whatever it is? I'm like, if you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. We start with the potato. Mm. We include some amazing spices. We've got your spicy barbecue. We've got your sour cream and onion. Who doesn't love that? Homemade mm -hmm. sour Sour cream and onion, and then I love my salt and vinegar. You can add a little mm. salt to my your diet. My chips are salt and vinegar. Are they? I love that. Now here's the thing. This is total guilt-free eating. Take your sweet potatoes and sit in front of the TV mm -hmm. because now you're not doing deep-fried whatever. And if it comes in a bag, you know, my dear friend said, if man made it, don't eat it. Mm -hmm. We made these. You see it fresh. You see it popped in the microwave. I've got about one more minute, and I've got a snack food that I feel good about giving my family. I feel mm -hmm. good about eating. Well, and you know, when you think about it, I'm one of those, like a lot of you out there, one of those people that, man, I'm sitting in front of a TV. I love to have something Hello. to play with. I love to have something, you know, I got to be doing something like that. But rather than go for those artificially, you know, preserved uh, uh, things, try this. You have not absolutely nothing to lose. It's a $20 bill, healthy, delicious food. It's easy to use, endless amounts of possibilities on what you can do here. 
So, uh, so think about that. Um, all the different fruits and veggies that you want to try with this, and don't be afraid. Try anything. I mean, you you've got well, the little the chip. chip. You got the chip maker. If you can slice it Here thin you and you can fold it in half. Then you can pop it inside there. And finally, uh, rather than uh, using your microwave just for reheating coffee, which is pretty much what I'll ever use mine for, <laughs> um, you can do something good with it. And right. you can actually enjoy this. I also have to tell you, this is my only visit before January. Mm -hmm. So if you guys like any of the Ronco products that I'm bringing you, this is your only day. I'm here. I've got three shows. When these sell out, they are not coming back. No, so you need to it. know that this hey, is it. All right, just about half gone, everybody. I got 200 left. And so then it won't be here anymore. If you want these, there's three and a half minutes, so it's, hey, it's do, do three and a half it. minutes till uh, till sell out. What do I just fold? You it just and fold stick it, it in and there? stick it in. How many Push times can you get there? There you go. Yeah, there you go. that's hard to do. No, I know it, but also it's fun, and you. I know you're. If son. you have kids, let me tell you something. If you got little ones, now mine's uh, 12 now, and uh, but still, you know what? We love. What did we do yesterday, the day before? We've been yep. just carving pumpkin after pumpkin because we love to do stuff but together like that. But you can't really eat that. No, okay. but but we. This would be great if you could have something nice. To, are these ones that are already cooked? Those are you can taste. Those. Yeah, I'm going back in. Okay, these. I've never done a show where we have to eat. I'm no, going to do more cooking. Let me shows. show this you. Is fun. Come, come into my hand here. Take a look at this, and you see what's nice about the microwave is yes, it ha it does have the ability to do some browning, and that's right. where you get that nice crunch inside there. Um, you can add any of the seasonings, and rather than look at it, you can actually hear it and listen. That is seriously mm -hmm. crunchy. I mean, crunching. Do you hear that? Now here's the hey, thing. I, I will bet you've never made anything crunchy in your microwave. If you put bread in your microwave, it gets soggy. Yeah, it's the design nasty. behind this, the innovation that is Ronco that we've loved for all these years, that is what makes this product. It's such an inexpensive product. You were just <laughs> so <laughs> the, you know what are these things? It's six o'clock and we have now eaten all of our vegetables for the entire day. I got day. 100 and what are we, 150 <laughs> left, maybe. Oh, they're not gonna okay. Not even 100 left now, so it will sell out. I did like it. Grab it now. You know, as I said before, yeah. there aren't many really good things that I use my microwave for. <laughs> I really don't. Water I and coffee. Yeah, I reheat coffee. I, can't, I mean, honestly, a little bit of reheating here and there. I don't even like to reheat my, my leftovers with the microwave because it basically, the microwave, what it does is essentially it dries things out. But when you put chips and stuff like that in there, you remove that moisture, you concentrate the flavor, and you get a nice crispy product, which is really nice rather than the big bags and also a oh. portion control you know you can you can put in there exactly what what you want you know when you buy when you buy stuff in bags first of all you're overpaying the cost on that stuff is so ridiculous you, you spend a dollar on a bag of chips it's about five cents worth of potato inside there wait wait say that again say so that again you I, spend how much on you're gonna if you spend a dollar on a bag of chips you probably have a, a cost of about five cents on the actual potato that goes in there you're i mean think about it take advantage save the money have fun with your, I mean, it hits on all, it hits on all levels here. And this is serious nutritional goodness. Yeah. Oh, we are we're sold out. Okay. All right. Do you notice what's behind us here? Have you guys <laughs> seen or, I wish you could smell it.